Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so I'll let you know when I drop another video. And today we are going to revisit the MPC beats inside of Cakewalk. Let's go. All right, so we have a clean slate here. And um, basically what I want to start with is the path of how to actually get to uh, MPC beats to load it into uh, Cakewalk. All right, so usually what you want to do is go into your C drive and you should have a programs files x86 and you scroll down and you should see an option that says VST plugins. And once you're in the VST plugins, when you scroll down in here, when, if you've already loaded your MPC beats, it should be in here. You'll probably have like a 32 and a 64. I just downloaded a 64. I didn't actually mess with that 32 bit. Um, so I have the MPC beats 64 bit DLL inside of my VST plugins. So now if you're in Cakewalk, you go to edit, you go to preferences and you go to VST settings, right? And in VST settings, you can see my program file 86 VST plugins is right here. So then I would just hit scan and it'll actually load up MPC beats inside of Cakewalk. Right. So if you're actually looking for it, you want to go into your instruments on this uh, right hand side. My face is probably over right now. And you want to go to uncategorized. And then you'll see MPC beats. So you can do it this way or you can do, of course, with the plus sign on, on the other side or right click in add instrument. But I'm just going to do it from here. I'm going to right double click it. I'm going to do a simple instrument. Uh, no folders and, and any of that and just hit OK. All right. And now we have MPC beats inside of Cakewalk. And boom, there we go. As you already see, the tempos already matched up in here um, and you're on your main screen. Uh, if you have a keyboard, uh, you want to go to this little sandwich thing here. All right. You click on that and you go to help. And it's going to give you an option that says open start up wizard. So once you're in here, it will show you this little screen. You want to go to next and it's going to ask you what you have plugged in. I do have my MPK mini two uh, plugged in. So I'll just hit next and then I'll hit advanced or you can do simple if you want to, but I'll just do advanced and hit next. And now I can just start making beats. All right, and then just to make sure that you have everything set up, you want to go over here to this little, the second MIDI learn icon here. You click on that and make sure that it's actually enabled and you see your whatever device you actually have. I mean, there's other factory things in here for the Ableton Push, Akai, Elise, and there's a whole bunch of different ones in here. So you should be able to find whatever keyboard you're actually using. If not, then you would just set it up yourself uh, manually. All right, with that being said, let's um, let's uh, see if it actually works. So before I, I went to this little instrument thing here and it didn't, and it would freeze. Or if I went to this little option here, this media browser. And like I clicked on uh, one of these. Let's say uh, we did some kits, right? Do a kit. And let's do... Let's say hip hop. Uh, let's do boom bap. And as you see, you double click it, and now it actually loads up. It's not a. It's not dropping out. It's not pausing. Not freezing. can't do is actually stop stuff because usually you would hit this stop button to stop the sample but 
yeah there's, that's not a really an option right now inside of um, cakewalk with the beat NPC beats all right so I'm gonna hit on this note repeat right so what this note repeat does is it'll allow me to do whatever time division is actually set up so let's do do a one eighth We're going to do a shift in R and that's going to bring up, if you do shift in R, it'll bring up this uh, overdub option. All right. So I'm just going to start it. And then you can get uh, all fancy with it. Go and change this uh, to like 1 16th. Right? And if you do the shift and R again, you can take off the recording part and and take off the note repeat and just add Basically, this made a nice little beat real quick. So now let's say that we wanted to actually um, export it, right? So you want to go to File, Export, so 
but before we do that we want to actually go to track uh, once we're in track right so this this is another way to actually get your stuff to be separate if you wanted it all to be in one file you can do it this you can do it the other way you can just go straight into file and then export and then go to uh, you know audio mix down and you can do it that way um, you can also do it to where you just hit on um, this export audio or you can export the MIDI right so but what I want to do is actually have all of them on separate tracks so what I'm gonna do is go to this little sandwich I'm gonna go to edit uh, and I'm gonna go to track right so uh, if we start over so this is your sequence but this is your track the track is the one that actually has all the uh the pads and stuff on it so i'm gonna go back up to here edit track and i am going to explode the tracks um you only have eight so use it wisely so i hit explode so now As you see, I have all of them separated now on different tracks. So now if I go to here, it'll just be the hi-hats. I'll go here, and it'll just a kick. And here is just a snare. And this is the sample, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now, if I wanted to actually pull this, and I can actually have it as just the MIDI, if I wanted to, to put it on a different kind of track, or I can actually just go into the uh, export audio and click on that and it's going to export the track right so now I can just drag it onto my playlist inside of cakewalk and boom so now I have I have my hi-hats so, I mean, you can repeat this step for, uh, so you go down to the next one. I'm sorry. Here, you go to the tracks, go to the next one, go to my kick, hit on export audio. So it makes a real quick clip of it. And you can just drag it onto playlist. So boom, so now I have my hi-hats and I have my kick and let's say you want to do it for the the whole track like everything all together you would just go up here to track one because it has everything in it and you hit the export and it'll do the whole beat that you actually just made uh, in here so I can go export all right and just drag it onto another track. So if I mute this, so there you go, you have that track. So if you want to actually do the MIDI for this whole track, you can do that too. You can hit on this to export the MIDI. So now I can grab it and drag it onto that first one. And now all the MIDI is on this track, this uh, first track. But yeah, that was just something real quick to let you know that the MPC Beats is now working inside of Cakewalk by BandLab. I'll probably do some more um, tutorials on it uh, and kind of go a little bit more in depth about, you know, more sampling and more of the uh, other features that it actually has inside here. Like I said, it's not an easy DAW to learn. The MPC is not for beginners. <laughs> um, it does take some time and getting used to all the things that actually uh, does inside here. But uh, this is the end of this video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you learned something from it using the MPC inside of Cakewalk. If you have like any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. And if you haven't already, I don't know why, you should be liking and subscribing to this channel. But, you know, to each his own. But 
definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that I'll let you know when I drop another video. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Peace.